Do you think there are any dinosaur bones in space? I mean, at first that sounds like a stupid question, but then you think about like the impact zone and stuff. And I mean, I don't know the math on it, but you know, maybe one of those guys got knocked up into space, right? So could there be dinosaur bones in space? No. Okay. Let's frame the issue. There's a good rule of thumb I use when I see a headline that is a question. The answer is no. Have scientists discovered life on Mars? No. Could chocolate be the secret to weight loss? No. Are there dinosaur bones in space? No. For the answer to be yes, here's what we need. To still be in space, it must have been moving fast enough when ejected that it has entered some sort of orbit. It's not a rocket, it's a ballistic projectile. This means speeds at a minimum of about eight kilometers per second, and that's if we ignore air resistance. All right, let's do that Socrates shit that Z loves. What is a bone? To be a bone, it can't be bone ash or a single set of molecules or just the atoms. Loose calcium and hydrogen atoms do not a bone make. Bones turn to ash around 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Spacecraft during re-entry where the atmosphere is barely there can reach temperatures of 5000 degrees F. I already hear you. The entire thing would not heat up at once and all that dino meat would act as an ablative shield. Fine. Let's assume a dino size of 100 tons. Let's also pretend that it's a solid chunk of ice at zero degrees Celsius. It would take 271 megajoules of energy to turn that ice to steam. At eight kilometers per second, the dino sickle has over 430 gigajoules of energy. It would only take 0.06% of the kinetic energy of the dino jectile to flash the entire thing to steam. Could dinosaur bones be in space? No. Oh. Uh. Fossils aren't dinosaur bones, but astronaut Lauren Acton did take a mysosaur fossil fragment to space for eight days in 1985. So if you instead ask, did dinosaur bones go to space? The answer is no. Um, this episode was supposed to be a short and then my much smarter friend Tobo Rutan on YouTube, he also makes some D&D videos, heard it and wrote a very reasonable version of this response. And I was like, you got to record that. And now it, it's a full, like this, it was longer than I, I worked a lot this week. <laughs>